that was easy. And we think this grasshopper might be poisonous, so what we were trying to do is we should just go ahead and dump him in there, right? Go ahead and toss. Uh, fuck, I gotta make this work. Watch this nigga. We're gonna be making some grasshopper tea. Oh my gosh. Bro. Come on, guys. It's the Iguana Man. We are with Bryce from a higher view TV. And we're just out here foraging in nature, guys. I think there's a lot of things out here. You think? I think there's a lot of creatures. Oh, bro. Holy smokes. What do you think that is? Dude, what is that? Is that a lobster? Is that a crab? A praying mantis? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Dude, you think we should try catching them? I think so. Here, hold this. Dude, I don't have I don't know what I could use, but I'm gonna throw my shirt on him. Oh, oh! Oh, he's hopping away! He's hopping away! Oh my god, there's a car coming! Oh, hold on! <laughs> oh, we got him! Dude, we got him! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> that lady probably thinks we're nuts. We need to save this for later, guys. This could be a very interesting eat right here. So glad that we got him. Let's go. So this grasshopper we caught is actually poisonous. It's called the Eastern Lubber Grasshopper. And you can tell because it was super slow and it had really bright colors. It was black, it had red, orange, and yellow. Obvious warning signs of danger. So guys, whatever you see me do on this channel, I do it at my own risk, and I do not encourage anybody to try to reenact this. What I'm doing is completely dangerous, and somebody can get really sick. We might have to use the tongs, y'all, because this thing right here. He just tried to get out. All right, we got these thingies right here. Uh, oh, gosh. dude. Those red wings are crazy. We got a good hold on them. Look at this thing right here, y'all. Hold on, let me get a little thumbnail. Oh my gosh. And we think this grasshopper might be poisonous, so what we were trying to do is, because we are going to be going to the jungle here very soon in the next couple days, and we kind of want to build up an immunity to poison. So we heard something that if you, have, if you, ingest, if you ingest a small amount of poison, you actually become somewhat immune to it. So that's what we're going for here today, guys. When we go to the rainforest, we don't know what to really expect. We might see a poison dart frog. Uh, there's other insects out there, millipedes, centipedes, spiders. So we just want to give ourselves the best possible chance not to get poisoned out there by actually consuming some of this poison. Well, that was easy. Oh, yeah. We should just go ahead and dump them in there, right? Go ahead and toss them. We're going to be making some grasshopper tea. Might as well throw his head in there, too. Yeah. Grasshopper head soup. Coming right up, boys. How's it smelling? Oh, actually smells pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Who would have ever... Because we are going to be traveling across the seas into the rainforest. So... Uh, if you're not traveling in the rainforest and you know you want to probably live to make it to your trip You probably shouldn't drink this tea it's starting to turn yellow a little bit, dude. It really is. Oh That's all that poison just going in there. So kids uh, do not try this at home Obviously, this is not the best of all ideas We're just doing this for our circumstance because we are going to be traveling across the seas into the rainforest so Oh my gosh Bro. Look at that thing right there, man. It is seriously starting to turn really yellow, dude. This, the grasshopper actually looks red now, huh? Yeah, he does like a lobster. Oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. That... Well, like when a crab cooks. Yeah, for real. That thing was fat, dude. Worst case scenario, I'm walking barefoot and I step on like a poison dart frog. I mean, I'll have some kind of immunity to that poison. So that's the only reason why we're doing this. Super gnarly. Oh man, dude.
All right, it's boys. So thick and creamy. Dude, I don't know, bro. I'm trying it, bro. I'm having second thoughts, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Dude, it kind of it kind of does smell like some really sweet grass. Not even yeah, yeah, sweet grass. It's just the color that's freaking me out, bro. I don't. We don't know how thick this concentration is. Like, is this really? Like, Bit by a snake out there and then die. That is true, bro. Get our immunity, gentlemen. Let's go ahead and uh, take a little sip of this. See how it goes down. It is bitter. We're gonna have to drink it all, guys. Bro, I don't think I could down it. What the heck? So, I'm with these guys, they're traveling with me, uh, they just took this shot, like, he took it, he took it, I guess. What's like the weirdest thing that you ever ate, bro? Like, I had to eat a whole rattlesnake, and then I ate the brain. The brain? Yeah. Apparently, it's the same kind of deal, you get the immunities. Who? Oh, so you, okay, that venom. Yeah, I'm the assuming. doctors might not tell you to do this, but the backcountry people sure, sure as hell will. Okay. Well, dude, you guys seem pretty bad country to me, and we're going out in the rainforest, so it looks like I just gotta take the shot, bro. I don't see no more videos of me. You guys know why. Best way to kill a cold right here. That foe. That's foul, man. It looks like hog barf or something like that. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments down below. We're going to go ahead, get it all rigged up. He's already dialed in. He's ready to go. Yeah, so four for four on the target. Gotta be uh, a head, what's it called? A head albino or something, something like that? Like that. There's oh. another one, bro. There's plenty. Right. Guys, so we're over here. We just caught this little crab inside here. And Gordo, we found this other crab hole. But look, guys, there's actually a giant crab inside here. He was just attacking our pole. Oh my gosh. He was a Goliath. Where's the other ones at? The whole push it. They probably come out that way. But this hole goes into that one. Oh my god, there was a dead bird right there, too, bro. So, where's the iguana man now? Guess in the comments down below, you guys. All right, you guys, these are some of the iguanas from the hunt. Check it out, guys. We got a lot of them, the tails on the grill. This one right here, we're probably gonna clean it whole. If you guys wanna see the iguana man, clean this giant Puerto Rican iguana whole. Keep watching, keep subscribed with the bell notification on, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. You live here a long time? Yeah. Okay, do you see them a lot? 